Hey guys, just want to make a quick video here on Uniswap. Uh, as you can see, Uniswap is trying to bake, break above the uh, resistance here at about about ten dollars uh, thirty seven. Uh, you can see though it is getting rejected by this trend line. This is a long term trend line. Now, if I zoom out, you're going to see how uh, long this trend line is. It's basically since end of March. Um, so it's a three month trend line almost. And uh, it tried to break out in the beginning of June, but it did not and uh, got rejected pretty much couldn't hold the, the uh, support here. Uh, anyways, guys, you can see it once again, it's getting rejected. So let's see if we can break this uh, today or not. Now we have been above it today. We've been as high as well, eleven dollars and two cents. And uh, the best thing, though, would be to break this ten dollars thirty seven resistance, which is a, a daily resistance for us at the moment. But if we can break through this trend line, perfect, that would be even better. And uh, then we can uh, can continue to about eleven dollars sixty five cents up here at this four hourly resistance. And um, then you have a, a few resistances here. You're going to have this weekly resistance at about twelve dollars forty seven. You're going to have the top of the Fibonacci here at about twelve dollars seventy nine. And then you're going to have another four hour resistance up here at about thirteen dollars and thirteen cents. So this area. Uh, pretty much about, what is it, 60 cents or so is going to be probably pretty tough to get through, I would say, uh, just because you have a, a weekly, uh, you have the top of a Fibonacci here, and you have a, a four hourly um, time frame, you know, resistance. So anyways, and then after that, you've got almost $14, uh, but we'll see, that's, that's kind of far right now. Let's just focus on the short term here. Basically, you know, getting above this, you know, ten dollars thirty-seven. Then this trend line, right now today, that sits at about ten dollars seventy. So if we close above that today, uh, that will break the trend, uh, hopefully, and uh, then eleven sixty-three. Anyways, Bitcoin at the moment not doing so well again today. Uh, now we did get Michigan numbers, um, and it wasn't so good, guys. I can show you this real quick. Um, basically. You know, the inflation expectations were higher than what is forecast. Um, Five-year inflation expectations, again, higher. Consumer sentiment, lower. Um, but yeah, these, you know, numbers were not good today. Um, they were a bit negative. So not as good as PPI and, uh, and uh, CPI. And, you know, anyways, guys. We're getting rejected now by this four hourly candle uh, here at about uh, 66.8, we can say. And uh, we need to get back above that at least. Uh, but the best would be to get above this daily time frame at 67.5. Um, but right now, our biggest support is right here at 65.7. And we have a weekly uh, support around 64.8. So. Anyways, guys, that's what we look like right now with Uniswap and uh, Bitcoin. And yeah, guys, the week is, you know, uh, almost over. Well, Sunday, the week is over for Bitcoin, but pretty much nothing happens on the weekends. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, let's hope next week will be better. Uh, I thought this week would be better having good CPI and PPI numbers, but I guess not, guys. Anyways, if you like this video, like, subscribe, activate the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.